Hi guys, so I was looking for questions and tags um, online and I came across this one that I don't think anyone has ever done. It is on the site Livin, L-Y-V-E-D, and um, it's called 75 questions to ask yourself. And the point of this video is not so necessarily you hear my answers, but it's really just to ask yourself these questions, if that makes sense. Um, which they will, um, which it should make sense as we go along. Uh, even though my answers could help you, they're really questions you need to ask yourself, um, not get from anybody else. Like really, what do you think about this or what is the truth for you? Um, so, the paragraph before these questions on that site is, an old proverb says, he cannot, he that cannot ask cannot live. If you want answers, you have to ask questions. These are 75 questions you should ask yourself and try to answer. You can ask yourself these questions right now and throughout your lifetime. So, they're not, um... So they are, some of them are deeper, and so I will say all the questions. Um, you might not see all of my answers, um, or they are going to be short versions of my answers. Um, so, yeah, just to let you know, um, you won't, I've answered these questions. I don't have the paper um, that I did answer them on, but I did answer them a while back, and, um, yeah, so you will hear, you will definitely hear the questions, and most likely you'll hear at least a little bit of an answer, my answer, um, on all of them. But it's really just to get you guys thinking um, about where you, who you are. Basically, that's what it comes down to, who you are, and what you believe, and all that jazz. So the questions are on the screen over here. And so if I'm looking at the screen, that is why. So let's get started. Um, the first question is kind of a generic question. Um, and it says, why not me? And so this really addresses self, um, if you have any self-confidence issues, um, which I do have quite a bit. So. A lot of times you're like, well, I shouldn't do that because I'm not as good as that. And so you should really ask yourself, why not me? Why can't I do that? Um, let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. Second question. Am I nice? And I think for me, I am very nice, which is sometimes a flaw for me because sometimes, um, sorry, this is really bothering me. Um, sometimes I have a hard time being mean or saying the truth even though it could hurt someone. Um, so being nice is definitely a weakness I have. Um, three, am I doing what I really want to be doing? And yes, I am in college right now, so I'm kind of hoping that's what I want to do with my internship. I really think I am doing what I want to do. Um, Obviously not all the time, and in all situations am I doing what I really want to do, or what I think I should be doing, um, but yeah, in general. What am I grateful for? I am grateful for a lot of things, so in short, um, I'm grateful that I can be in college, that I can be learning, that I have the funds, um, that I'm allowed to, that I have a great family, and friends. What's missing in my life? This question I am not probably going to answer because it is a very personal one for me. Um, but it does have to do with family. Um, am I honest? Six. Yes. Um, but I don't want to hurt people like I said before. So I am honest in my heart. <laughs> I always tell like my mom things that I really want to tell people and they're really the honest truth and she goes, you don't tell people that, do you? And I guess I'm like, oh, I just want to say they're so rude or something. I don't know what I say, but um, so some people probably think I'm a lot meaner than I am. 
um, if they hear me talk because I don't actually ever say anything. Um, seven, do I listen to others? Yes. Um, do I work hard? I'm working on being more proactive, so I'm working on working hard and then just being able to relax. Do I help others? Depends on the situation. Sometimes I don't like helping cleaning up or making food or something like that, but helping others in a sense um, of emotional help yes I guess that makes sense um what do I need to change about myself I think I've answered this a couple times throughout this which is not a bad thing like um that's number 10 by the way um so I think it's good to when you answer these questions to think about like what you how you do help others and how you don't help others because you can just answer yes I help others and just move on but there's so many ways you can help others that I'm sure there's something else you could be doing which is not saying that you're not doing all you can but there's always something that you could work on um 11 have I hurt others not that I'm aware of like probably maybe a boy one time <laughs> other than that no um I don't intentionally hurt others I don't try to um I feel really bad if I hurt someone so I don't think I have hurt people um I know I have hurt people not intentionally um, and I've tried to make it right and it's not working so well but um, there is something going on that's been going on for probably almost two years now that um, I, I hurt a lot of people and I didn't realize it um, at the time but and I've been trying to make it better and it's a slow process. Um, 12 do I complain <laughs> yes I that is something I definitely without a doubt need to work on about myself um, 13 what's next for me well I have class in about two hours um, other than that uh, just school and yeah, that's what's next um, I don't really know um, right now being in college just a question is um, quite easy to answer because you know kind of what's next um, if you know what you want to do um, but yeah kind of I kind I know what I want to do in every area of my life right now which is kind of strange um, I even like have classes for next semester picked out my hair is like so bothering me because I have this like strand that's like sticking out but that's not important um, so yeah college is normally an easy time to answer that because you kind of know what's next um as in you and I happen to know what's next in relationships and um stuff like that so sometimes it's hard because I know what's next in some relationships um 14 do I have fun uh not all the time um I I really have a hard time relaxing so that really affects my fun um so have I seized opportunities? Um, not all opportunities have I seized. Um, that's for sure. 16. Do I care about others? Yeah, I would say I do care about others. Um, 17. Do I spend enough time with my family? Probably not. Um, even when I did live with them, um, especially the last um, two years just being in college and, um, just having different schedules than them and wanting to be free and wanting to be out of the house, um, because I lived there for two years and now being gone, um, I, I'm glad because I am free, um, but I think when I go back for stuff, I will be better. Um, 18, am I open-minded? Um, on some things I am, and on some things I'm not, which I think is a good thing. Um, I think you should be not you shouldn't be open-minded. I guess on a lot of things, I think you should be able to listen and be able to um, 
stand strong in your beliefs, but do it in a way that doesn't hurt others. Um, because if you are, especially if you want someone to do what you do, if you're mean to them, they are not going to want to do what you do. You might make them do what you do, but, um, or believe what you believe, but that's not going to keep them. Um, have I seen enough of the world? No. I have not left my country. And I've never been to the west coast of my country. Um, or just the United States. Um, I have been to the west coast of Canada and Vancouver. Um, but, and I haven't been very east coast. Because most of you know I do live in the middle of the United States somewhere. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, no. And then that is, I, that Canada is the only other country I've been in. So I, I would not say I've seen a lot of the world. I want to see a lot more. Um, do I judge others? Everyone does judge others. Um, but I would, I judge others internally, which not necessarily a good thing. But I try when I interact with them to not let that come out, if that makes sense. Like, I might judge him, like, with my other thing. I'm not mean to people, but I want to be mean to other people. Like, I want to, that's what I want to say, but I don't. So my actions are normally not judging, um, but the inside is, which is not any better. Um, do I take risks? I'm working on taking more risks. I'm very, um, not spontaneous, and I have been working on being more spontaneous. Um... Number 22. This is one of those ones I am um, going to answer kind of, but I really think that it is important that you um, understand this for you. Um, 22. What is my purpose? And I'm just kind of going to give a very general one. Um, I, I have a better one written down and in my head, but um, I really don't want to... Um, say mine and then someone be like yeah that's mine and um, you know like I want people to think of why they're he like the purpose um, in their life um, and everything like what is it so I think I'm just going to leave it at that for that one uh, 23 what is my biggest fear I have two probably um, the first one is spiders I I hate, like, bugs. I guess bugs, in general, hate them. Like, I just, I can't deal with them. Even ladybugs I don't really like. And the second one would be just being alone. Um, being afraid that, like, no one likes me. Um, yeah, so, I don't care if, like, not everyone likes me, because obviously not everyone's always gonna like you, but I think it's the fact that no one likes you. Like, no one. Um, that's a big difference. Um, 24. How can I conquer that fear? Um, the first fear with spiders is probably just realize that they are not going to hurt me. Like, maybe the poisonous ones are, but I do not need to freak out as much. Um, that. <laughs> yeah. So I don't need to freak out as much. The second, um, fear about um, being alone is just being more comfortable with myself and I guess being okay if no one does like me. Um, yeah. Do... 25. Do I think... Do I think... Do I think people enough is 25? And no, probably not. I mean, if you think about how many people do and like so many things for you, like even if you walk through a door and people like hold the door like I am always say thank you and we had a test the other day and we were waiting for the door to open and this kid he was in crutches and I think not um I think he hurt, like had surgery or something like yeah um I don't think he was permanently in crutches I guess that's my point and he was holding the door and there was a few guys that were like no, I can get it. And the guy was like, oh, no, I got it. You know, type of thing. 
and one guy tried to take the door and everything so that's that's good but when I was walking through the door like I was watching this happen because I was kind of in the back and no one said thank you like I'm pretty sure I made sure I said thank you because um yeah like I did not hear anyone say thank you like the guys that took the door they might have said thank you I'm not really sure but like I said thank you and everyone kind of looked at me like what are you doing and I'm like he's holding the door for you like you say thank you um, so in those situations, I'm very aware of it. Um, in other situations, like, like if my mom does something or my boyfriend does something, I'm not because I, f like, I think that they're, they're there. So, I don't know. Like, it's hard to explain, but, like, the people closest to me, I have a hard time thinking. So.